Hi, my name is Chris Rexrode. I'm the Executive Minister at Christ Hope. We're just so glad that you've joined us, not only here at the church, but to help us serve in various areas. And this area here specifically has to do with the hub. And we call it the hub because it's the central hub for basically all forms of information, whether people want to sign up for events, they want to know about a small group, a Sunday school class, um, the calendar, church communications and stuff like that. So if you haven't already, make sure you connect with myself, um, Jenny Rex Road, or a few other people that can help get you clued in on the various things that you may be asked. You're basically going to be an information connection system for the people that approach the hub. So first and foremost, sometimes the hub gets to be kind of a fun place to hang out. You have to keep an eye to make sure that if there's people that are trying to come up to the hub, that you ask the people there that are just standing there socializing to maybe ask them to step to the side so that those people can come up and get information. And there's a whole variety of information sitting up there at the hub. The first one I'm going to point out is the iPad here that we typically try to keep on this page here for next steps and you get a whole variety of things that people can sign up as their next step in their faith anything from baptism to becoming a partner um, if they want to sign up for the garden of hope during that season um, i need help picking out a next step some people just aren't even sure they just know that god's calling them to do something else in their life join a small group which i am a huge advocate for i think that's really where relationships are built and bonds are made. Um, join a Sunday school class. Those are great on 9 a.m. Sunday mornings for people to, to gain more insight into God's Word. Um, serve on Sundays. Where you, how you got here right now, serving on Sunday. There's a whole bunch of places they can pick from. And then serve and outreach. And we may add more buttons down the road, but this is an easy place for you to direct them to, to sign up so that they can make connection with us so that we can get them plugged in to where they need to go or the next step that they need to take. And there's going to be a whole variety of different things there at the hub. There's going to be TVs running behind you with information, uh, calendar events, various events that we're advertising. Something that I think is really important for all of our people that greet um, whether you're at the guest services, you're a greeter, or you're at the hub, is this connection card. If you meet anybody that's new, or anybody that seems like they're not plugged in or signed up on stuff, ask them if they've had the opportunity to fill out a connection card, or my favorite way is to scan this QR code and put their information in. That gives them immediate connection with myself, with the other ministers in the church, um, to help get these people plugged into where they can grow the best and where they can begin their 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 walk with Christ even possibly. Um, but these are really important, so make sure that people have that. And if people come up and they're looking for a way to reach their neighbors, their co-workers, their friends, which we highly encourage, we have two different sizes of invitation cards that have uh, information, a QR code on the back, and these things for them to hand out. These are free to, for people to take. And then anybody that's been coming to the church for quite some time, or if they just want one, we have a variety of car stickers that people can put on their on their car, whether it's in their window or on their bumper, and these are free to, for you to hand out. Preferably just let somebody take one or two and not like a whole stack of them. And then something else that you may encounter, um, we'll have various people doing attendance, but with this iPad right here, um, you may be asked to take attendance and it'll basically be pulled up and you'll see uh, a roster of people and as you click the name and this will only be for adult services so you won't be checking in children um, as you see the people's name on here you'll be able to click their name and once you check mark the box give it two or three seconds and that person's name will disappear they're checked in and they're removed from the roster you can go up to the search bar to look for somebody's name or you can just scroll through and for some reason if you can't find their name just let somebody know and we can help you but there is an option down at the bottom or after you hit type their name into search there's an option where you can search the roster a little bit further but sometimes the names don't come up if they haven't been here for six to eight weeks so they can get confusing but for the most part just check people's names in and uh, it should be fairly easy 
And then finally, just be a, a valuable asset to people to help make that connection between them and what they're trying to figure out or maybe what they don't even realize is available to them. You're that opportunity, you're that friendly face with a smile on it that's willing to help. And for some reason, if you get stumped on something, Pull one of us ministers aside, pull an elder aside, uh, anybody that's around that might be able to give you a hand. And if you happen to get overwhelmed or swamped, pull somebody in to give you a hand there. Two people behind the hub is totally fine. So if you have any more questions, I'll put my email down here below so you can reach out and connect with me. But I so much appreciate your willingness to be a part of this team to help people connect even better for people to get information and to help people in their journey with Christ. Thank you very much.